Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to all denarians on the go and in the know, wherever you may be. The new CEP, Currency Exchange Planner, is a must-have for both pre- and post-RV exchange planning. The link is in the description panel below. Use the code, the denarian, and get the extra pre-negotiated discount as my subscriber. It is November 18, 2019. Know that today, we are one day closer to our goal than yesterday, and we will all cross the finish line together. First article of interest. Abdul Mahdi receives the U.S. Ambassador to Iraq. November 18, 2019 Ali Am News Iraq Baghdad. Prime Minister Adel Abdul Mahdi received on Monday U.S. Ambassador to Iraq Matthew Toller and U.S. Central Command Commander Patrick White to discuss the development of relations between the two countries and the continuation of joint cooperation to fight the remnants of ISIS terrorist group and training Iraqi forces. Next article of interest. Documents. Leaders of political forces agree on several items to end the Iraqi crisis. 2019 to 18 November 2316 Baghdad today Baghdad On Monday evening November 18 2019 the leaders of the political forces held an expanded meeting within the Fatah Alliance the Victory Alliance the State of Law the Iraqi Forces Alliance the Kurdistan Democratic Party the Patriotic Union of Kurdistan the Stream of Wisdom the National Coalition the Salvation and Development Front the National Giving Bloc, the National Contract Bloc and the Turkmen Front. The current situation and come up with resolutions and recommendations to resolve the crisis in the country, while they threatened to hold early elections and withdraw confidence from the government if not implemented within 45 days. Next article of interest. Kurdish Deputy. The government prepared a draft budget law in consultation with the region. 2019 to 18 November 13 no to Iraq a deputy from the Patriotic Union of Kurdistan continued dialogue between the Kurdistan regional government and the federal government to prepare a draft budget law for 2020 a member of the parliamentary finance committee Sherwan Mirza in a press statement dialogues are continuing between the Kurdistan regional government and the federal government to prepare a draft federal budget law for 2020 he added, the Council of Ministers in the coming period will send the draft budget law to the House of Representatives, so it is necessary to continue dialogues between the Kurdistan region and the federal government to reach an agreement. He continued, the federal government prepared a draft budget law in consultation with all ministries and the Kurdistan region sent his proposed budget to the federal government but I think that it needs to intensify dialogues to reach an agreement on the draft federal budget law for 2020. Next article of interest. The third amendment to the central bank law includes the establishment of the banking court. 18th November, 2019 Baghdad. The House of Representatives is currently working on a third amendment to the law of the Central Bank of Iraq, including the change of eight articles in the law. The House of Representatives read the Third Amendment to the Law of the Central Bank of Iraq in one reading at its previous session. The amendment aims to form a court called the Banking Business Court, which will be headed by a judge and two judges. The Banking Business Court will also consider an action to cancel or amend the order or decision to impose administrative penalties and claims related to the custody, rehabilitation, liquidation and judicial custody of banks and the determination of guardianship, guardian, liquidator, judicial garden rehabilitation procedures shall be subject to court supervision. In amended Article 67, it recommends that orders and decisions issued by the central bank remain in force unless a court order to suspend executive proceedings or issue a cancellation or amendment order. However, Article 68 confirms that the orders issued by the court shall be subject to appeal by way of grievance within three days of being notified or considered as an amount before the court. The decision issued by the court shall be subject to appeal before the competent court of appeal is discriminatory within seven days from the date of notification or as an amount. In Article 70, the provisions of the Code of Civil Procedure and the Evidence Act are in force when there is no provision in this Act. Next article of interest. Pompeo, 
we will impose sanctions on corrupt officials in Iraq. November 18, 2019 2302 Washington, U.S. Secretary of State, Mike Pompeo, announced that the United States will impose sanctions on Iraqi officials, corrupt, amid continuing demonstrations against authorities across the country. Next article of interest. Abdul Mahdi and Balsakhart discuss the election law. 2019-18 November 1846 Baghdad, the Prime Minister Adel Abdul Mahdi, on Monday, the Special Representative of the Secretary General of the United Nations in Iraq, Janine Hens Blaskart. A statement from his office said the two sides discussed the government's efforts to meet the demands of the demonstrators especially the election law, as well as cooperation between Iraq and the United Nations in supporting stability in the country. Next article of interest, Abdul Mahdi's office delivers a new batch of 400 citizens to the interior. 2019-18 November 959 Baghdad. The office of the Prime Minister, Adel Abdul Mahdi, on Monday, the delivery of the interior ministry a new batch, third to appoint citizens to the owners of the ministry. The Interior Ministry has been handed over a new, third, batch of 400 citizens for appointment to the ministry staff, bringing the number of new appointees to 1,200, a statement from the Prime Minister's office said. Next article of interest. Parliament. Next Tuesday when the vote on the essence of political reform. And the real change that the people want. Baghdad, November. 18th, Jinwa. First Deputy Speaker of Parliament Hassan Karim al kabi said on Monday that the coming period will witness the passage of laws that represent the essence of political reform and the real change that the people aspire to. The Deputy Speaker of the Parliament chaired today a meeting of the Parliamentary Legal Committee to discuss the two draft laws mentioned above in preparation for their reading during next Tuesday's session. The office said in a statement received by Al Sumeria News. Al Kabi explained during the meeting that the next few years will witness the enactment of a number of important laws, such as the law of elections for the Iraqi Council of Representatives and the law of the Independent High Electoral Commission, stressing that the two laws are a fundamental pillar and the essence of political reform and change that the people aspire to. He pointed out that the next Tuesday's session, will include reading the above two laws to discuss and vote on them during the next sessions, adding that tomorrow the Council will also adopt a series of important legislation and affect the need of the citizen and the fulfillment of its demands such as the law of retirement and the abolition of the privileges of officials in health insurance and integrity. al Kabi pointed out that the people should have an opinion on all laws that will be enacted within the Council to see all the articles contained therein. Next article of interest. Trump advisor to Twilight News. Washington may impose sanctions on names in the New York Times report. 2019-18 November 12 hours 29 minutes and 57 seconds Washington. Gabriel Soma, a member of President Donald Trump's advisory board, said Monday that the administration would impose sanctions on the New York Times. The American administration has not been surprised by the report. Soma told Shafak News. U.S. intelligence knows a lot about what is said in the report. It has the perception and diagnosis of Iranian hegemony in Iraq, so the report did not come as a surprise. He pointed out that it is not excluded that the U.S. administration to impose sanctions on the figures mentioned in the report of the New York Times, but it does not rely on what is stated in the report. It has more information, and the report mentioned events in 2014 and 2015, and the penal code is implemented. It has information on those named and their relationship with the Revolutionary Guards. The New York Times on Monday published leaked classified documents from Iranian intelligence detailing how the regime in Tehran exercises power in Iraq through Quds Force Commander Qasem Soleimani. The unprecedented leaks reveal Tehran's tremendous influence in Iraq, which shows years of hard work by Iranian spies to choose the country's leaders, pay the salaries of Iraqi proxies working for the Americans to change their positions and infiltrate every aspect of political, economic and religious life in Iraq. Iraq
According to an Iranian intelligence cable, the current Prime Minister, Adel Abdul Mahdi, worked in exile closely with Iran while Saddam Hussein was in power in Iraq. The cable says Abdul Mahdi had a special relationship with Iran's Revolutionary Guards when he was oil minister in 2014. According to the newspaper, one of the former senior U.S. officials warned of his current downfall, but no Iraqi politician can become prime minister without the blessing of Iran. When he became prime minister in 2018, he was seen as a compromise candidate acceptable to both Iran and the United States. According to the newspaper, leaked Iranian intelligence reports largely confirm what was already known about Iran's firm grip on Iraqi politics, but the reports reveal much more than previously known about the extent of Iran and the United States used Iraq as a starting point for espionage. The reports highlighted the complex domestic policy of the Iranian government, where rival factions are grappling with many of the same challenges faced by U.S. occupation forces as they struggle to stabilize Iraq after the U.S. invasion. The documents show how, at almost every turn, Iran has outperformed the United States in the competition for influence. The archive consists of hundreds of reports and leaks written mainly in 2014 and 2015 by Iranian Ministry of Intelligence and Security officers, who are working in the field in Iraq. According to the newspaper, Iraqi-Iranian meetings were held in dark alleys, shopping malls and Christmas camouflage parties and documents show intelligence operations in order to take pictures of U.S. soldiers and coalition forces against ISIS and gifts and by receivables arrived to Kurdish security leaders. The archives obtained include Iranian intelligence reports written in 2014 and 2015 by Iranian intelligence officers working in Iraq. An Iranian intelligence report says former Iraqi Prime Minister Haider al-Abadi has a close relationship with Iran. Iranian intelligence reports show that Tehran's goal is to keep Iraq from failing, stop the growth of Sunni militancy on the border with Iran, stop any civil war that makes Shiites its victims and prevent the independence of Kurdistan, which destabilizes the region while keeping Iraq as a satellite state. The newspaper says Iran has wooed most CIA agents left behind by Washington in 2011 who feared retaliation and told Tehran everything they knew about CIA operations in Iraq. Former CIA agents provided Tehran with information about the agency's secret sites, the names of hotels where the agency's foreign agents were staying, details of weapons and training, and the names of Iraqis working for the agency. Next article of interest. Secret documents published for the first time explain how Iran exercises power in Iraq. 18th November, 2019. A leaked classified Iranian intelligence document showed how the regime in Tehran exercises power in Iraq through Quds Force Commander Qasem Soleimani, the New York Times reported on Monday. The unprecedented leaks reveal Tehran's tremendous influence in Iraq which shows years of hard work by Iranian spies to choose the country's leaders, pay the salaries of Iraqi proxies working for the Americans to change their positions and infiltrate every aspect of political, economic and religious life in Iraq. Iraq. Next article of interest. For the first time, demonstrations in front of the gate of the Green Zone from the Karata district in central Baghdad. 2019-11-18 Baghdad. Dozens of people in Baghdad, in front of the gate to enter the green zone from the side of Karata, to demand the real demands claimed by the people 40 days ago. The correspondent of, yes Iraq, that, dozens of citizens, organized demonstrations demanding, in front of the gate to enter the green zone from the side of Karata. He added that, this is the first time that the demonstrations are at this particular site but usually concentrated demonstrations from the side of Tahrir Square in Kalani. The central and southern provinces are demonstrating, 40 days ago to demand the change of the current system and a change to the electoral law and the constitution, in order to modify the course of the political process in line with the achievement of the dignified life of the Iraqi citizen. Next article of interest. 
Ankara hosts an international conference on Iraq after 2011. 18th November, 2019. The international conference entitled Iraq Beyond 2011 Economy, Politics, Security, Culture, Social Dynamics, Foreign Relations kicked off on Monday in the Turkish capital Ankara. The conference is organized by the Center for Middle East Studies, or some, in cooperation with Ankara University Haji Bayram. The Today Conference will discuss Iraqi political, security, economic and social affairs, the reality of Iraqi international and regional relations beyond 2011, and their future prospects, highlighting the potential developments in the protests in Iraq. The conference which is held with the continued popular protests in the Iraqi capital Baghdad and other provinces, aims to establish an academic research platform to discuss the nature of Iraqi international and regional relations, by providing an opportunity for governmental and non-governmental figures, as well as Iraqi and Arab students and researchers, to participate in its sessions it will be held at the Faculty of Arts, Haji Perm University. Since the beginning of last October, Iraq has been witnessing popular protests demanding the improvement of social and living conditions, and the departure of the current government has been the victim of these demonstrations and protests more than 300 people dead and thousands wounded. More articles of interest to come. Hit that like and the subscribe button and check out the new CEP, Currency Exchange Planner, a must-have for both pre- and post-RV exchange planning. The link is in the description panel below. Make sure you apply the discount code the Denarian at checkout, so you get the extra pre-negotiated discount as my subscriber. I encourage you, knowledge is power, stay informed and stay alert. Over and out for now, the Denarian.